All right, in a career spanning more than 50 years, Judith Durham has had her fair share of amazing moments. Performing with The Seekers, she was the voice of one of Australia's most successful and timeless bands. And she's not done yet. This morning, Judith became just the second inductee to the Australian Women in Music's honour roll. And following the news, Weekend Sunrise caught up with the living legend for this exclusive chat. 50 million records, countless sold out tours and now a special place on the honour roll. This means the world to me. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm very glad that it's happening in my lifetime, you can imagine. Now that's, that's what's the thrill because I've had so many near-death experiences. <laughs> it was 1962 Judith Durham linked up with Athol Guy, Bruce Woodley and Keith Potka to join the Seekers and the band quickly became the name on everyone's lips. Destiny took them to international stardom. In 1966, Georgie Girl became their biggest hit, reaching number two in the US. With more than 50 years in the industry, the Seekers singers still has some unfinished projects sitting in the drawers at home. Look, I've got a, a, a musical in the bottom drawer, which has been for a while. That's called Got To Be Rainbows. Um, the Australian City Suite, of course, all the songs that were written for the Australian capital cities. Uh, there's a little children's song. Oh, look, I, there's just so much. The curtain, however, has come down on her performing career. I won't be touring, I have to mention that to you, because I'm sure people are wondering. Um, my last tour was in New Zealand. I did a solo tour, which was so amazing, and I was very, very thrilled to be taken over there. So that would have been the last time. But since then, I think that the things are pointing me in other directions. This morning, Judith Durham is the second inductee into the Australian Women in Music honour roll. I'm just so grateful to have the opportunity to understand that I've been of use to in the music world, you know, for so long as it turns out. She follows the woman responsible for one of the all-time great female anthems, Helen Reddy. To be honest, she inspired me to understand more about uh, women's, uh, you know, empowering women. I wasn't really into that side of things, so she enlightened me because of the song that she wrote. I am strong. The induction takes place at the Australian Women in Music Awards in Brisbane on October the 8th. I want everybody to realise they should sing as much as they can, keep uplifting music in their hearts all day long. It's where the music of Judith Durham will continue to inspire our next generation of international stars. Yep. Love Judith, what a star! Isn't she fantastic. And the Seekers have been yep. such a part of the Australian soundtrack, haven't they? I mean, especially for Simon. Well, exactly. <laughs> I was era. there. I was there to hear it all. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, it. in the morning we used to go to the beach with Dad. Dad would mm. have the ABC on in Perth, yes. and the Seekers would play. Yeah. I don't know yeah. every second day. <laughs> I remember and, that too. Uh, we knew them all. So, yep, so. I think we we're listening to the same radio station. Yeah. All right, it is time Good for stuff. the rest of the day's pop news now.